Hi everybody, today I'm cleaning window tracks. Um, I'm down in my basement again because apparently this is where I left the most work unfinished. Um, our house got really dirty when we were doing construction, so our window tracks are filthy. You don't really need guidance on how to clean a window track, but I looked up a couple ways that are maybe hacks on how to do it. So, thanks for checking in, I'm gonna get to it. All right, so tip number one from the video was to vacuum. So that was not too tough to figure out, but it needs it. Here's what we're working with. All right, so the first internet idea that I saw, I doubt this will work because it just doesn't seem like it would. Yeah, just doesn't seem worth the time already. Maybe it is worth the time and I just shouldn't be judgmental. So here we go, I got it wet. Yep, that works horribly. You're better off just dump it down there and that part's better. We can clean that up nice. There, at least I'm successful at something with this. All right, so the sponge down in the crack, not doing a whole lot. So I'm gonna try this in a second window. And then when I looked up the thing that I read online, it said to sprinkle this on generously. I don't know if I did it generously before. Right. Now I got my spray bottle full of vinegar. Baking soda and vinegar did anything. Maybe. So I've got this, it's a sponge. It kind of feels like steel wool, but, and it's really coarse, but it's a sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a scrub with this, see if that works better than anything that I was trying before. So, so far, the conclusion I've come to is just use normal cleaner because that's what it's made for, but. You know, baking soda and vinegar might work well. This is also a trick that I saw on the internet. They had a knife. I thought that seemed way too sharp, so I grabbed a screwdriver, they put a rag over it, and used that to dig into the corners. There's a trick. I like that one. That's my favorite trick so far. Yuck. Throw it on the floor. Just kidding, Katie. I put it on a paper towel. So I'm getting a little embarrassed just to post this because these were filthy. That's disgusting. Um, I would say to conclude, don't cut a slice in your sponge. That's stupid. I didn't think it was gonna work. You can't get enough pressure in there. So this core sponge worked pretty well. Um, there was, neighbor's dog is outside looking at me. Um, this core sponge worked pretty well. It was able to kind of scrape away everything. Um, any better than a rag would? I don't know. On that last round, when you actually put a decent amount of baking soda down and then put vinegar in, that actually worked pretty well. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of clean it up and see what the before and after looks like, but that wasn't too bad in terms of cleaning, so we'll see what it looks like. So we've got a before. It's pretty filthy. And after, and it's, it's not perfect, but I'd buy this house. All right, so that's the video for today. Like I said, I know people know how to clean windows. Uh, you're probably better off than what I did with just spraying some gunk down there and calling it good and being able to wipe it up. 
The, uh, the screwdriver trick worked really well to put a rag on the end of a screwdriver to get the corners and edges and that stuff. Uh, everything else was just, you're probably better off with some sort of cleaning spray. I'll have another video coming up in a couple weeks where I'm probably gonna be walking through another repair when I have a little bit more time. Today was a little bit of a rush and I have windows to clean, so there we go. All right, look for that next video and thanks for watching.